Welcome back to Fun with APIs. This is Rasta Tester. And in this video, we're going to have a look at an API which simulates a deck of cards. I mean, if you ever wanted to build an application uh, which deals with cards and you wanted to code yourself everything, I can tell you from experience it's not really that easy. So I looked for an API which would help do this and came across this deck of cards API. So how does it work? Well, we're not going to go through all of the features, but um, first things first, so you, you can shuffle the cards. Um, it gives you firstly the opportunity to select a specific number of decks. So it says here, if you want to do an application which simulates blackjack, yeah, you have six decks in a blackjack game and you call this endpoint. I already have it here, Let me make it a little bit bigger. And we just give number of decks, so deck underscore count, say it's six. And it generates, so we have success equals true. And we have a deck ID and the remaining number of um, cards. Okay, cool. Now if we want to draw a card, um, again, similar to blackjack, we have this endpoint here where we say we want to draw two. We just need to give it the deck ID. Here I was playing a little around before the video. I just need to change that. And you have now the, the cards. And the nice thing here is you also have a PNG and an SVG URL. So let's just open the SVG. So we have the card, SVG and PNG. Nice. So you don't need to search for uh, <clears throat> search for cards and store them somewhere in your in your code. You can just draw here. Let's draw two more and two more. So we have a couple of players. Okay, this one would be would have the advantage at the moment in blackjack because it has uh, a jack. If you saw here, oops, let me go back. You also have the remaining number of cards in the deck, which so which the ones which haven't been um, um, dealed yet, which is pretty cool. And if you want to reshuffle your deck, let's say you are playing and you just want to reshuffle it, give the ID and the shuffle. Let's see what what else can, we can do. A reshuffle. We have a brand new deck if we want one. We can do even do a partial deck if you want to play different games, which I don't know they deal only with uh, cards which are bigger than um, than ten. You can do this uh, via this endpoint. Um, you can add piles, uh, shuffle piles. <clears throat> the nice thing about this one is, as you could see, you can. You don't need an uh, you don't need an API key, so you can just let's say do a, another a normal deck with 52 cards, and you can just simulate a game of I don't know with five cards um, five cards to each player, and you're ready to go in less than a minute. I hope you like this API. If you have any APIs which you would like me to have a look at, please write them in the comments. If you like the video, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.